not pregnant. It's a very single line, so yeah. Okay, well, that's okay. We keep trying. Man. Not pregnant. I have been feeling really weird lately. I am so nauseous this morning that like, that's why I have a mint in my mouth. Um, I'm just trying to get through. Jordan just left for work. It is uh, 10 o'clock, he just headed to the office. So I am heading to CVS real quickly to get a pregnancy test. I didn't realize that I missed my period until about three days ago and I had just completely stopped tracking um, two months ago. I surrendered everything to the Lord and I'm giving you guys this backstory to add up to if I am pregnant, why this is gonna be such a beautiful thing from the Lord. Um, I'm already starting to cry. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. There has been such significance tied to the month of September for us if this is what I think it is like God is so faithful we got married on the same day last year September 18th 2021 is our anniversary also my husband's birthday and now I think I'm pregnant I'm gonna go to the pharmacy and I might even just be sharing all of this for no reason um, I'm gonna go get some pregnancy tests okay so I put um, my pregnancy test in my gym bag. We have so many cameras on our house and I know that if I walk in with just this, he's gonna suspect it because we have been trying to get pregnant. So I have them in my gym bag. I'm gonna act like I'm getting ready for the gym. I'm so nervous right now. I'm like shaking. Like, I don't know if this is normal to be so nervous. I think I just know. I think I just know that I'm pregnant. Okay, I'm gonna do two. Do you think that's normal? Do two. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm shaking, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm so nervous. Okay, 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 I'm shaking, okay. Okay, it's been two and a half minutes, so I think that means I can turn it over and like, There's no words besides pregnant on here. Oh my gosh. something was going on with my body like I didn't sleep the last two nights I have been like having hot flashes which I never have I'm always cold um, I actually wrote out some of my symptoms I've been having yesterday I had cramps on and off all day long I had leg aches which I didn't know that was a thing until I looked it up I was super nauseous after dinner like Jordan made us the most amazing dinner he made us um, 
he grilled for us and I made us rice and the veggies and I literally could only stomach like a third of my plate because it was so nauseous. And then today has been cramps in my legs and my lower stomach, nauseous all morning, very little appetite. I've only eaten chia seed pudding and it's already almost lunchtime. And then my breasts are really like, they just feel really swollen and they're just so sore, like tender to the touch, which also usually isn't a thing for me. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a mom. There's a baby in here. Oh my gosh. How is there a little baby in here? Take a third, do I take a third just in case? Or just to have a third just to say I've tested three times. Not that these are wrong, like they literally say pregnant on them, but like do I take a third? I have four tests. I remember praying the silliest prayers of like, Lord, when that time comes, I don't know how I'm gonna surprise my husband because literally the only time I could ever pull it off would be his birthday. Okay, I'm so emotional too. Like I was crying last night for no reason and bless Jordan's heart. Like he is just the most amazing husband. Okay, he loves Converse. And so I got him two pairs for his birthday. And I'm gonna put these pregnancy tests in the bottom of the bag. So I'm gonna get like a gift bag. I think that's what I'm gonna do. He won't see it coming. He'll literally have no idea. No idea. Wow, wow, okay. It's September 1st. I just found out that I'm pregnant. You guys will probably be seeing this in December, I think would be my second trimester, right? November, end of November. No, holy cow. Oh, okay, wow, okay. I will see you guys in the next video. The next video will be me telling Jordan that he's gonna be a dad. Oh my gosh. Dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really tell, but oh, I was trying to pull you into the loop on something. So can you see your camera? I got, yep. got my birthday present early. I hate to bother you. Hi. I was just thought, I thought you would be really excited about my birthday present. <laughs> Brittany just gave me my birthday present. Okay. 
Okay. And I what thought, you have for me? well, I was gonna <laughs> flip this around and okay. show you. So I got. I thought you would really like these chucks. And then, and then I thought you would really like Thanks these chucks. because I was trying to get this all figured out. That's your pink heart. It's baby so It's so right little. Yeah. That is the little heartbeat right there. Oh. <laughs> talking about we were just calling to tell you that we that we, that we love you. you miss you okay love and miss you too tell me we just wanted to say that we love you just him. wanted to show you his birthday present yeah that's all i was doing okay show me your birthday present i got some chucks Walk over to them. I know what's going on. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Obviously by the title of this video you guys already know what this is going to be about. Um, I've been wanting to get back into vlogging as usual but honestly I haven't really known how to move forward from this besides just sharing an update on how I'm doing 
and sharing this story. So that is what I'm going to be doing today as much as I don't want to. My hope is that my story would help even just one person. This is something that no woman ever thinks that she will walk through. We all know someone, a friend, a sister, your mom, an aunt. We all know someone that's walked through miscarriage, but to be honest, it's something that I never thought would happen to me. Um, I never thought what happened to our baby, especially after seeing the heartbeat and especially after hearing that I was low risk and a healthy pregnancy. It just kind of came out of nowhere and unfortunately that happens. I was in complete shock when it happened. So to give you guys some context, obviously I shared finding out I was pregnant and telling Jordan and telling our friends and our family, but um, some of my symptoms were nausea and you know, Morning sickness that lasted all day was my main symptom. I had cramps on and off, but nothing crazy. They were honestly not even as bad as like period cramps. Just the typical pregnancy symptoms and I felt amazing. We had seen the heartbeat, baby was growing, my stomach was starting to show, and just all the things that you want in a pregnancy. The Thursday before I miscarried, we had gone to shoot with Avery, my sweet friend Avery, and she didn't know that we were doing pregnancy announcement photos, and so it was actually a shock to her, and that was such a sweet, sweet surprise. Um, everything from the start of that was just not working. And I remember at one point thinking, God, what are you trying to tell us? I was sitting in the back of the car as we were driving to the parking garage to shoot the photos and I'll put one here. We did end up getting a couple, but I remember thinking, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? Like I felt a little uneasy in my spirit, not to over spiritualize anything, but I do believe that the Lord warns his children before things like this happen. Um, and I remember getting home after Jordan and I went to get dinner that same night and I was just leaning up in the dresser um, in our closet and I remember thinking, Lord, please protect this baby. And then I had been praying every day for this child, laying hands on this child. I woke up several times in the middle of the night and had Jordan laying hands on my stomach and just praying and worshiping and declaring God's protection over us. And then Friday I started having some more cramps, nothing intense, nothing crazy, nothing honestly that threw any red flags. I even told my midwife, I was like, hey, is this normal? She said, yeah, no big deal. And that previous week I had actually been classified as low risk as optimal healthy pregnancy like all my labs came back healthy my hormones were all great like everything was as you would want in a pregnancy and so i had no reason to be worried no reason to be concerned even with the light cramping that was going on i just assumed the baby was growing um and uh went to dinner on sunday with some friends and came back home and i I started um, I remember Jordan looking at me and telling me hey we're not gonna partner with fear and I think I knew I think I knew what was happening but obviously I had never gone through it before and so I felt hopeful but also scared at the same time. And we contacted my midwife, um, at, this was 11 o'clock that night by now, and hey, like there's some light bleeding going on, and again, nothing crazy. But then the cramps started getting so bad that I actually had Jordan get me a trash can because I thought I was gonna throw up laying in bed. And it was so intense, just a level of pain that I've never felt before. <sighs> the next few hours, I ended up, um, having a miscarriage here in our house and it was the hardest thing that I've ever walked through. I'm sorry guys. Um, I've been putting off this video because I don't want to cry but I also understand that this is a loss that takes time to heal from. And even when it happened, I was still so hopeful. And it wasn't until the, that day we had a sonogram, ultrasound, whatever it's called, with a sonographer at 2 p.m. that day, and that was the longest day. I remember I, I, I couldn't get out of bed. I remember I was so depressed and so just struck with fear, um, praying, believing, contending, hoping that this wasn't 
what was going on, that there was still a baby inside of me, even seeing what I saw. I was just in a state of denial. So we went to the doctor's office at two o'clock and I just remember sitting in that waiting room and there was worship music playing and just in a constant state of prayer, constant state of prayer of Lord, like, I know you get the final say. I know that you can change this all around, God. I know you can. I know, I know that this doesn't have to be what, you, what I think it is. And so we get in there and um, he starts doing the sonogram. And I remember Jordan sitting at my feet and just watching him. I didn't want to look at the screen. I didn't want to see anything. And I just watched Jordan and I knew that I could tell if it was good news or bad news by Jordan's face because he can't hide his emotions from me. He started the sonogram. I just saw Jordan's face just ghost white, completely lost any glimmer of hope on his face. Standing by my feet and he came around and he just cradled my head in his arms and I knew at that second. And I heard the doctor say, I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but I don't have good news for you. was the hardest thing that I've ever walked through in my life. The hardest thing. But I just remember feeling like, get me off this table now. We left and walked out the doctor's office and I just was sobbing so uncontrollably and, and I felt so overwhelmed and alone. Um, those next few days were the hardest had not having answers. Like, this is something that I will never have answers to. On that third day, I just remember just feeling angry at God. And I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. Like, God can handle our emotions. He created them. God feels anger, God feels wrath. And he can handle when his children feel that way because it's an emotion that he gave us. And I just remember saying, Lord, why? Like, why would this happen? You know, like, there's things we'll never have answers to in this life. And I had truly just been in a state of depression those first few days. And, and on that fourth day, I just remember feeling like, Lord, I need help because this is not me. Like, I feel completely not myself right now. I felt like I heard the Lord say, I gave you community to lean on in times like this. In that moment of sharing the hardest thing I've ever walked through with the world and letting you guys into that part of my life and our life, it truly felt like something broke off of me in the spiritual realm for the best. And it felt like this flood of hope came in of women saying, you're not alone sharing their stories and every time I read those comments or DMs or emails, not a single one went unnoticed and I just felt like I got a little more life in me. And I know that he has something beautiful for us, that he's a God of redemption and restoration and he's restoring me in this moment, even just talking to you guys right now, that God is doing a good thing. As long as we have Jesus, we have hope. And I hope that this encourages just someone that Maybe you're walking through loss of any kind. It might not even be miscarriage or your child. It could be a family member or a friend. I hope this encourages you that grieving is allowed when you're a child of God. Ecclesiastes 3 says that there is a time for everything. There's a time to jump for joy and there's a time to weep and there's a time to shout praise and there's a time to cry and mourn and grieve. And God holds every tear in his hand and that has been such a comforting vision for me. Knowing that when I weep, so does he. That he feels everything I'm feeling. I do not believe that the Lord took this child from us. I believe that this was a spiritual attack. That what the enemy takes or uses against us, God can use for good. And that God can restore that tenfold. And I know that I know that I know that when I see that next pregnancy test, I'm gonna see God's goodness written all over that. I know he has something so beautiful for us. So moving forward from this, that's been the biggest question is how are you really doing after miscarriage? And I'm healing, I'm growing, I'm taking deeper root in my faith than I ever have before because that's all I know to do. I hope this helps even just one person out there that you're not alone and God's not done with your story, that this is not the end for you. Oh, man. 
I said I wasn't gonna cry, but that's about how it goes sometimes when I start talking about it, so. Yeah, God will get glory. God will get glory in this story.